My name is Mary Ellen Wilson. I don't know how old I am. Mama whips and beats me almost every day. I never been kissed by Mama. I am never allowed to play with other children. I never dared to speak to anybody, because if I did, I would get whipped. Whenever Mama goes out, she locks me in the bedroom. I've never been outside. In 1873, Mary Ellen was discovered by a church worker who had been asked to check on the family. What Etta Wheeler found was horrifying. She was a tiny mite the size of five years, though she was then nine. From a pan set upon a low stool, she washed dishes, struggling with a frying pan about as heavy as herself. Across the table lay a brutal whip of twisted leather strands. The child's meager arms and legs bore many marks of its use. But the saddest part of her story was written on her face. The look of suppression and misery the face of a child unloved who had seen only the fearsome side of life. Mrs. Wheeler went straight to the police. They told her she must furnish proof of assault. Astonishingly, her eyewitness account of the child's scars and living conditions was not proof enough. Even though there were laws to protect a person from assault and battery, there were no laws allowing intervention inside a child's home. Mrs. Wheeler was undeterred. In casting around for some way to rescue Mary Ellen, her niece offered a useful bit of information. Children might not be protected from physical abuse, but animals were. Mrs. Wheeler petitioned the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals arguing that children were members of the animal kingdom and must therefore be protected. She persisted until Henry Berg, legal counsel and then president of the ASPCA, stepped in. Based on Berg's reputation and his connections with the court and police, Mary Ellen was finally removed from her abusive home. <laughs> 